Hey guys, I'm back. It's Patrice with Trinity Boutique and I have another video for y'all today. Two days in a row I'm posting content for you guys. So there has to be some love, y'all. Do y'all feel the love? But anyway, so I've gotten lots of questions about a box that I posted on a doormat or a box that I painted on a doormat previously. And apparently I thought part one of that video posted, but it never did. So here we are today. I'm going to show you exactly how I achieved this box around my words. It's so much easier than it looks. So I'm going to give it to you step by step. So follow along with me as I show you exactly what I did. But before we get into this video, I want you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, if this video helps you in any way, be sure that you give me a thumbs up. And I want you to go ahead and turn on your notifications so that you know every time that I post a video. So let's get into it, y'all. I'm going to move this design off to the side and I'm going to show you exactly what I did to create that design. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm moving over here so you can kind of look at it, judge it, and just kind of go from there. So the first thing you want to do if you haven't done it already, you want to set up your workspace to fit your doormat size. For this particular doormat, most of my doormats are always 18 by 30. So they're 18 inches. Well, yes, they're 18 inches tall and 30 inches wide. So I have my workspace set up for 18 by 30. There, that part's done. Next, I want you to come over here to your text um, icon. And I want you to just type a last name or first name or whatever you think you want to type. Um, just We're just going to freestyle it. You just type a name. I'm going to type a name and we're just going to go with it. So I'm just going to basically redo the same one that I did. So we're going to go with Davis. I'm going to enlarge it. And I want you to just choose a font, whatever font. Choose your favorite font. My favorite font, one of my favorite fonts is Winter Festival. Um, in case you didn't know, you can download lots and lots and lots of free fonts from dafont.com. That's D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. I will post that in the comment section. Um, or underneath this video, I will post that so that you have something to reference to if you want to go and download some free fonts. They have lots of free fonts, lots of free great fonts that you can use. So anywho, you want to right click and weld if you use any type of script font. So that's what I have done. Now I'm going to group everything together. Enlarge it some. And the next you want to come over here and we want to create our box. So come over to your shapes panel. Click on the rectangle draw you a box around your um the name you can draw it as big as you want as little as you want as long as it fits around your name and as long as you don't go outside of your work area so now the easiest way to duplicate and to create another box that will fit perfectly around this box is to apply an offset so that's what we're going to do so you're going to come over here to your offset panel and we're going to click offset and you can either do a rounded offset or a cornered offset whichever one works for you however you want to do it it's your choice for the one that I'm using as an example we did a rounded offset so that's what I'm gonna do for you today I'm gonna go with the rounder one now I want to increase my offset increasing this offset is gonna widen your box the wider the box the better. You don't want it to be super wide, but you do want it to be wide enough so that once you do cut out your design and put it on your mat, you have a nice size box and you don't have like super thin lines around your um, the name or whatever the design is that you're putting the box around. So just gradually increase and as you go up, just kind of eye your design and make sure that it's the way you want it to be. And once you get it how you want it, you're going to click apply. Once we've applied it, you can exit out of that. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the knife tool. And what you can do before we actually slice the portion out that you're going to fit the in home, you can actually go ahead and move Davis out of the way. And that will make it a whole lot easier when you're slicing your, um, your box in half. So come over to your knife tool. And you see this ruler up here? This is not here just for looks. It's here for you to use it. So 
you can line up your cursor on a line and then do the same on each side. It kind of helps you judge how far you can go and how big your, um, your space is. Use the ruler, guys. It's there for a reason. So I'm going to line this first slice up on the number 12. You may not necessarily be on the 12. You may just kind of have to gauge it and see where the middle of your box is and then go to the outer portion so that you can cut out the, the middle part of your um, your box. So I'm going to go straight down on the 12. And a good way for you to know that your, your line is straight is that if you look at the bottom where you see the bottom of my line, you see the 0 .2 0 0.216. That's telling me that my line is slanted. So you want to move your line back until you get no numbers underneath. And that's how you know you have a straight line. Once you've done that, just let it go and it's going to slice your box for you. So we were on the number 12. Now we want to go about, let's see, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm going to go to 16. So that gives me a good four inches in between. So you need to do the same exact thing. Go straight down and make sure you don't have any numbers up under your line. And that's how you know the line is straight. Let it go. It's going to slice it for you. Now you're just going to come over to the arrow and you're going to remove that portion that you just sliced. Just remove it. And there you have it. If you don't feel that these two are equal, what you can do is You can highlight it and look at the uh, measurements. And if they're not equal, this one's 11.914. This one's 10.056. So what you can do is you can duplicate one or the other. So I think we're going to duplicate this one. So highlight, control C, control V move it over here and then you can right click it and flip it horizontally and now you just want to kind of line it up you may have to zoom in some to line it up and i think that's pretty straight so that's another way that you can do that or you can also just cut one side down a little bit more or you could do this highlight whichever one you want to enlarge or make smaller come over here to your transform panel and then you see this arrow right here you can click it and then you can change your size right here so there is so many ways that you can change the size of um, anything that you're working with in this space but for this particular design i feel like it was easier since the box was kind of uneven that we just duplicate the smaller portion and then you can always go back and enlarge it if you need to so let's go in now and add our attachment so that our boxes connect. This is so much easier than it looks. So I don't want you to freak out. I just want you to follow my lead. So zoom in, get as far up to your design as you possibly can. And then I want you to come over to your line tool, select the very first one, and you're going to line up the left side of this cursor and the middle of it, the middle needs to be on the point, on the end point of the line. The cross portion needs to be on the line. So let me go in a little bit more so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh oh, where'd it go? Okay, here we go. So line up your lines and then go until you see that middle portion on in the middle, in the circle of the cross. And once again, the way that you know you have a straight line is you have no numbers underneath. Line up your cross on your line, and there you have it. So now you just highlight, right-click it, and group it. So let's go over to the other side and do the same thing. Line your cross up on your line. You don't want any numbers underneath it. Now. Highlight, right click, group. 
Now we're going to go do the same thing at the bottom. Do the same thing at the bottom. Let's see the line. Line it up on the dots. No numbers underneath. And now you know you have a straight line there. Group. Last one, y'all. There you go. Highlight it, right click it, and group it. So we're going to zoom back out so we can see what it looks like. Uh oh, I'm zooming in. I'm sorry. <laughs> so now you have a box. Now we have a box that we can go back and put our name in the middle. You can move this portion if you want to, so you can make the box a little bit wider. And that way you have more space for the and home for the middle. So now we can go ahead and type the and home and you can change your font if you want to. I'm gonna go with Times New Roman. Ungroup those two and then group each individual word all right now you can resize it and put the words where they go and i think i want to make this a little bit taller a little bit wider there so there you have it, y'all. You have created your box around your name. Super exciting. I hope that this has helped you. Ooh.